How's it? Today's Sunday, June 4th. And I competed today. I lifted at the California North Central Championships held in Richmond, California at Cypher Health and Fitness, I think, or Cypher... Cypher something. I... was not very happy with my performance today. There are a lot of positives to come of this. I wasn't sick, first and foremost. That was huge. That was a lot of the reason why I think I underperformed last meet. I might have underperformed because I was going to underperform even if I wasn't sick. But that's the excuse I used last time. <laughs> um, I cannot use that today. I'm not going to use that. Um, I didn't get hurt today. That's another positive. I technically did better than last time. Also another positive. And I won my weight class in the senior division, the men's open, I guess, if you could, if you think about, like, other strength sport type stuff. I think there was only one lifter in my weight class. His name was Aaron De La Cruz. He was me. I am him. But I'm and I won, which is cool. I've never gotten a medal at any meet. I think I've won meets before, but I don't think I've ever gotten a medal. But, yeah, today was... Today left a lot to be desired as far as performance goes. I wanted to hit a 240 total. That was the goal. 240 total is going to qualify me for American Open Finals. And that's a little bit far from 265 for Senior Nationals. But 240, I'm going to need to do 240 before I hit 260. So at some point, that's going to be a stepping stone. It's going to be a checkpoint, you know. And that is what I'm trying to do today. So keep that in mind. 240 is the goal. 240 is the number. 240 is what, I'm, what I need to hit. That's important because a lot of my decisions later in the day are centered on that. As far as openers go, I was going to, or at least I plan to open at... 95 and 125 if I snatch 95 100 and 105 which I've done in the past that puts me in a good position to go f um, 125 130 135 which I've also done in the past and that would give me a 240 total that's not what happened I don't know if you can hear it in my voice but <laughs> that is not what happened at all my warm-ups today for snatches were actually, I feel like they were pretty good. A lot of distractions were happening around. There was a lady giving me a hard time with my camera. And she was just standing around being dumb. But I feel like I was pretty strong for my warm-ups. I didn't feel strong waking up. I weighed in at 72.6 today which is the lowest I've weighed in in the last, I think, three or four meets. Usually I weigh in at 73.0, like on the dot. And I think it's because six weeks ago I did that meet, right, in um, April. And I water cut for that, but I also did end up losing quite a bit of weight. And if I was going to compete again, which I plan to, like, like a few days after, then it made sense for me not to, like, gain weight again and then like do another water cut so i ended up not doing that this week so i, I woke up this at the beginning of this week at 162 which is uh one 1.4 pounds above where i needed to be 160.6 is 73 kilos so i ended up not water cutting at all and what that meant was that i felt very weak and undernourished the whole week essentially and that's not a good feeling to have um, going into it. So I think moving forward, I'm going to do water, a water cut every time. Um, I bring this up because like, I was surprised with how good my snatches felt. Um, this 90 coming up here, you'll see that I ended up pulling off of the ground a little bit behind the bar. And this is kind of the whole reason why I missed 105. It happens with 90. 
um, and then my two attempts on the platform at 95 at 100 and then 105 is finally where it, it got to the point where I couldn't overcome that it was not overcomable that's not a word but I mean despite how good my my warm-ups felt like extension goes and like overhead stability goes I felt strong my adductors were hurting um, considerable amount at the bottom position and I don't want to say that it hampered me too much but I do know that it definitely affected that right there that position immediately off of the ground and maybe that's what caused that kind of being behind the bar or maybe that's just how I've been lifting and I just never noticed but that little hundred you saw that little sneak under with my my knee kind of moved a little bit that's because I'm relative to where the bar is I'm behind the bar at extension off of the ground at extension and the bar being overhead is a little bit in front of me so I have to overcome that and I have to figure out a way to push myself back in position and then 105 was just not enough space too far behind all of these things adding up and being difficult um, so yeah that set me up for failure moving to the clean jerks I had to clean and jerk 140 no matter what in order to hit 240 total and with the plan of opening at 125, that would be very difficult. That would be basically putting myself in the same exact position I did for the South Bay Open, which I obviously did not do 240 total. Um, so yeah, Steve was like, yeah, let's just go at 130. And I was like, yeah, let's just think the exact same thing. That way I could do 130, 135, 140. And, you know... I talked to my brother about this a couple of days ago. I talked to Becca about this. Uh, thanks for the videos, by the way, Becca. Um, it was great to have you around today. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I was like, yeah, if I if I have to, I might be able to clean and jerk 140 today. You know, I, I think I was saying that on Friday. But as I warmed up today and I got to 125, and then when I did 130, I was like, Jesus Christ. 140 is not happening today. Steve even said he was just like, yeah, 140 might not be in the books today. Like immediately after I did the 130 clean jerk, because I looked at him and I was just like, bro, why was that shit so hard? Um, one positive though is I feel like my my cleans are, are a lot more consistent. It feels like I'm sticking to the bar a lot better. It feels like I, the bar is not getting as much crash on my body. Like look at this 110 here. Um, 120 looks good. 125 is a little bit of short extension, but who am I if I'm not short extending everything? I'm not me, you know. That's a little short extension too on 120, but 120 is lighter than 125 because that's how math works. And then from here, I was just like, okay, 125 is, is a little difficult. I think. Around here is when I started losing confidence in, in everything. Yeah. Getting under the bar was, was pretty good, but still, I could have been higher. Could have pushed a lot better. And then this jerk was okay. A little bit wider than normal, but it was okay. Go to 130. 130, this is the best 130 clean I've done. Probably this whole year. Which, that's a positive. I, I need to... Stop being so negative. I, I got to look at the positives. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, I always say that if I can clean it, I can jerk it. And this was true in this moment because cleans have been always pretty difficult lately. But that was solid, in my opinion. Even G1 said, like, that, that clean looked good. Because he was there when I, when I was struggling with 130. Jerk was solid. Uh, moved to 135 because I was like, I have to do it. I have to send it. And I'm just unable to clean it. I short ex extend. Very hard. <laughs> Very hard short extend. Um, and I decided actually to forfeit my third attempt because look at this. That was so hard. Off of the ground, that was so hard. 
And I forfeited my third attempt because if 240 is the name of the game, you know, if 240 is the total I need to hit, me reattempting 135 is not going to do anything. And there was no way on earth I was going to even try to think about 140. So I I just kind of cut my losses there and figured, you know, I, I'm, I'll live to fight another day. I don't want to get hurt. Uh, I did tweak my back a little bit, that mid-back pain that I've been feeling for forever on that clean because it kind of crashed down on me. But I made the decision, and I'm sticking with it, and I'm okay with it. I talked to a lot of people um, about kind of how I performed today already, and it's they just said, you know, kind of take it as it is and just move on to the next one because next time you'll be better. There are lots of things I could have done differently. You know, I could have water cut. I could have um, examined my start position better. I could have given myself more than six weeks to prepare. Um, could have done a lot of things differently, but I didn't. And so, like, these are things that I'm going to learn from moving forward. And I'm super excited to actually put more work in because I do think that I'm capable. Like, in this moment, I do think that I'm capable of totaling 240, 245 maybe. But I want to be capable of doing more. You know, I want to get to 265 and go to the senior nationals. And that would be crazy for me. That would be awesome. That's like my lifelong goal. And I am, yeah, no, I mean, if you're still here listening to me, just rant. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. Um, I don't know any of you. I know some of you, but I don't know most of you. But um, thank you. Thank you for uh, all the support. Um, I'll be around. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Shoots.